Hi, I'm going to show you how to write the equilibrium expression if you're given partial pressures. Um, so if you didn't watch the other video on given concentrations and writing the equilibrium expression, watch that. So when given partial pressure, you're still going to follow the products divided by reactants um, and the coefficients are going to be the exponents. The difference is instead of writing brackets uh, for concentration like this, n2 to the first power. Instead of writing brackets, we write the partial pressure. So slight change. And being really specific, our k is k sub p, and that stands for k of the pressure, um, that we're looking at the pressure. Um, so this is going to be products. So I'm going to have my partial pressure of ammonia, and that uh, coefficient is the exponent. So it's going to be squared. That partial pressure of ammonia squared divided by the partial pressure of nitrogen, that's to the first power, it's going to be uh, to, understood to be a one, times, be so careful, when you have multiple reactants or products, you multiply them. So multiply times the partial pressure of hydrogen, and its coefficient is three, so its exponent is three. So that's going to be cubed. Uh, so if I were to put this, plug in all my partial pressures, it would be partial pressure of hydrogen cubed times the partial pressure of nitrogen. That's all on the bottom. And it'd be partial pressure of ammonia squared. Divide those two numbers and that will give me the equilibrium constant using those partial pressures. Um, so here's our first example. Now our second example. Um, you'll recall that um, when we're writing our equilibrium expression, you can only use gas and aqueous. Well, as I look at this, Okay, of course, partial pressure will only be for gases, um, but I have a solid in here. We don't ever write solids in our equilibrium expression, so that simply won't be written. We are going to have the equilibrium expression equals products. Notice that's a gas, and the exponent is two because the coefficient is two, divided by also a gas, carbon dioxide, CO2, and that's understood to be a one exponent. And I don't even include that carbon because it's a solid. Remember solids and liquids and we never write down. Um, and there we have it. Oh, my goodness, do you know what I did? And I'm actually glad that I did this because that's exactly what my students would do. I wrote down concentrations. It's partial pressure. They give you partial pressure. It's a partial pressure of carbon monoxide squared. Be really careful on that. I just made the mistake. Divided by partial pressure of carbon dioxide understood to be the, to the first. So if they give you concentrations, then you'd write those brackets. But given partial pressure, you do the partial pressure of those gases. Okay, good work. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.